Hello everyone. Today in this video, I'll cover HTTP archive, also known as HAR file. We'll start with the basics and we'll later dive deep to take a closer look at the HAR file and how it can be used for troubleshooting. So HTTP archive file is an invaluable tool that records all the network requests and responses sent between a web browser and a server while a user navigates a web page. This information can be very useful for diagnosing performance issues, understanding page load behavior, and debugging application network activities. HAR file is in JSON format, which contains all the metadata that you need to construct the network waterfall. In a second, I'll show how easy it is to generate and consume. So we'll uh, generate the hard trace and see what are the key uh, data facts that you need to look to analyze. And then finally, we'll use uh, this to troubleshoot. So in Google Chrome, under more tools, start the developer tool. Let's go to a website. And as you can see that it generates the hard trace as uh, the page uh, loads. We have about uh, 260 requests. It took about uh, uh, so almost uh, 18 seconds to to load. So let's download the trace. And uh, open the the trace file here. So as you could see that uh, here is uh, the website that uh, I have accessed and it shows the entries here. So entries are the individual requests that the browser makes for all the resources on the page. The first entry is the actual request and you could see that the method is uh, HTTP get and we have uh, the header information we also have uh, the cookie information, which is the all the information about the cookies sent and received during the HTTP transaction, and also the details about the caching behavior. So if you scroll down, this was all request, and then under the response, you see the HTTP code 200, which means that this request was uh, succeeded. So let's uh, copy this JSON code and uh, We'll just stick in the code here and uh, we'll do some more analysis. So you could see that uh, you get the visualization of all the data of exactly what happened in the browser, how long it took for, say for example, for DNS, for SSL, and you can expand and see the details of the request and uh, response header. So it's quite useful to analyze the page load and uh, the other useful information that can be used for analysis and troubleshooting. So now let's uh, switch and troubleshoot uh, a scenario where a uh, hard file can be helpful. So I have uh, in my Zscaler an inline DLP policy that is set for uh, using this engine to block and uh, the ServiceNow engine. So if I go and uh, check my engine that the policy uses, it uses this dictionary. And then if I go and check the dictionary, which uses certain phrases. So if I go and uh, create uh, an incident in ServiceNow with that phrase that my policy is uh, set to block, you could see that I was not denied from doing so. So let's see what's going on here. So let me create this developer tent again, and we'll do the same exercise that we did last time for the BBC's website. So I start the hard trace. I create the incident. And I know that uh, this will allow me again, but I'm redoing because I can generate the trace so that I can analyze. So let's see, let's download this uh, trace here. And uh, we will then 
use the Google Heart Analyzer to look at the stress. So these are all the activities. Let's uh, see this where we generated the incident. And if I click on any of the activity here on the right side, you will see the details. So when I created this incident, I see that uh, the content type shows that it has a URL encoded data. So in URL encoding, the characters that are not allowed in the URL, for example, any spaces or special characters like M% or equals are replaced with a percentage sign followed by two hexadecimal digits that represents the ASCII code of the character. For example, space character in a string is encoded with percentage two zero, M percent encoded with percentage two six, and the percentage three D is reserved for an uh, equal sign. And this ensures that the data can be safely transmitted over the internet without causing any parsing issue. So when a web browser receives the URL encoded data, it uh, decodes the data back to its original form before processing it. So if I go and see that uh, my URL that I used on this ServiceNow developer portal has uh, some URL encoded data, which you could see like 3F here, we have percentage 25. And uh, if I recall, I have uh, the URL encoded data was exempted so that may be causing the unexpected behavior that we saw. So let's uh, make this change, save and activate. And then we'll go back and uh, generate the new incident. And this time you see that uh, uh, we get the expected result and uh, the hard file uh, was helpful to point us out of uh, that uh, because of that URL encoded data, I was not getting the expected result. So uh, hope you find the contents presented in this video useful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks and have a great day.